You're on vacation in a small village in France, but don't speak a word of French. Imagine if you could download a program into your brain and converse with locals. And what if you could later remember that trip in perfect detail? In the future, you'll be able to save and re replay memories. Um, I mean, this is obviously sounding increasingly like a Black Mirror episode. Elon Musk says you will even be able to store your memories as a backup and then download them into a robot body. It sounds like science fiction, but Neuralink believes it could make that happen one day with this chip. It's a brain-machine interface, or BMI, a device that connects your brain to a computer. But before chasing these superhuman goals, Neuralink is focused on one thing, ending human suffering. All right, Shalom, giving all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rachachachwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. And as you just saw, uh, the plan of this Neuralink uh, deception, uh, which as uh, we've always let you know, we always told you that these devils are going to present this miracle as uh, salvation. Now, as you just heard, all right, the narrator said what? That Neuralink... All right, the focus is ending, all right, uh, human pain or, or limitations. Um, even as you look at some of the comments on this video, um, <clears throat> you know, you can see that people, I'm paralyzed. So I really hope one day this could make me some, uh, someone like me walk again. Um, and there's various, uh, comments that are you know pretty much big upping uh this technology because like they say you can be somewhere and you don't know a particular language but you'll be able to download all right that language onto the interface in your brain and as they said you can also put okay the things that you download onto that chip into a a, a new sleeve as they say you know a new uh technological upgraded body and um you see here you know um this is the mark of the beast wake up end times now i'm pretty sure a lot of people are uh, mocking him idiot they call him an idiot so elon musk is satan yeah he is he's the seed of satan you dumb fucks have been yelling the end of times for years there you go you see and this is uh ultimately um you know, uh, prophecy, you know, um, you know, in the last times there will come mockers, you know, scoffing, saying, you know, uh, when is the end coming? You know, you idiots have been screaming bloody murder with that word for so many years. Elon intended the chip to be used for helping individuals with mental disabilities that affect their daily lives, not the bullshit fed to you by the board conspiracy theorists who probably uh forfeiting views and fame because of your gullibility to their crap so there you go um as you can see is mixed reviews on it but most of the people are going to uh accept this as uh some sort of salvation now let's get that in the in the scriptures um and this is all prophecy and the reason you know we keep hinging on it is because this gives praise to the name of Yahweh Bashim Yashai who wrote this okay who wrote this whole movie and now it's playing out you know um a lot of people could have uh, made the argument that Noah spoke of the flood too much you know when he was prophesying 100 plus years of the flood to come you know people were probably like you've been saying that you sound stupid you sound like a broken record how how long you go talk about this flood now when the flood came you know, it was a whole totally different ball game. Okay, and that's uh, uh, what the prophets have to go through. That's what we have to endure. Um, you know, being mocked and ridiculed for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua's sake, even by other Israelite groups who say by us bringing this out, you know, we sound scared and this and that. But we're just, you know, uh, as the scriptures say, you know, the the we're supposed to warn that the wolf is coming. All right, and we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man, because this is going to be very tempting in the flesh. 
All right. This is going to be very tempting because you have a lot of people with a lot of limitations and, and ailments, man. And this uh, technology will be the start. OK, uh, to a, uh, a mission to establish immortality and to take away death, which that's going to happen on the right hand side. I've already done a video on that. Letting you all know that, you know, uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Shah that, you know, the the uh, eternal life is going to come through righteousness and wisdom. You see, they're trying to establish that on the left hand side via their blessing, which is technology. And it's limited. OK, now. Um, this is a uh, revelation, chapter 13. First, we'll start here. We always bring this out as the scriptures say by peace, he would destroy many. So he's presenting this, this, this technology as peace. He's presenting this technology as something that will help you. And I was just watching a, uh, video by, uh, the brother, the beloved brother, Mike Alla from the uh, Los Angeles camp. And one of the Rothschilds was speaking on, you know, exactly their plan and what they plan to do to the people. Now we know that Israel is at the forefront of all of their plans and the wickedness that they want to do, but they want to enslave even people of their own kind. You everyday Edomites who are on these common boards defending these people, they don't give a damn about you. See, you've pushed this whole white supremacy construct in, in, in BS, but here in 2020, you're finding out that the elites don't give a damn about you all either. Okay, and they're getting ready to uh, set all of you up for the okie doke, but we know who's at the forefront of all of their plans. Okay, because if they can get all of this technology inside of Israel, then they're good. All right, if they're able to com complete this, then ultimately they've won. All right, and they're able to set up their new world order, which is salvation through left hand and carnal means, meaning they overcame the most high. We know that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> but they are going to try it according to the scriptures. The scriptures is full of conspiracies and full of, uh, uh, you know, drama, full of uh, suspense. As we read this, when it says he calls it all both small and great, that's a conspiracy. There's a group of people on earth that are going to try to get this done. Okay, this is Revelation 13 and 11. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth and he had two horns like a lamb and he spake as a dragon. And the two horns like a lamb is him presenting, you know, like his Democrat, his Republic, you know, back then in Rome, it was the plebeians and the patricians where you have one side that says they're going to help you in this way. And you have the other side speaking against that side saying we're going to help you in this way. But what it does is it gives you a false sense of freedom and choice and it enslaves you because what comes next? He speaks as a dragon. You see that? He speaks as a dragon, man. Okay? And before Rome fell, all right, what, what, what was one of the things that they started to do? They started to push forth harsh and Draco-like measures, man. Now, Draco was an Athenian of the Greek Empire, all right, known for his brutal force and, and ways to get things done, all right? And we can see in... Uh, this society that those very practices are being practiced all over again because the Greeks were the beginning of this very beast system that's on the earth today. All right. So he had two horns like a lamb. OK, and he snared you all through his technology just as he uh, got Eve in a garden. Basically, he tricked Eve into believing that there was another way outside of righteousness there's another way outside of the true wisdom and the way that it was presented had to be in an immaculate okay uh, a, a way a way that seemed like it was going to be good for eve but what did it lead to death destruction all right and now mcdonald's is here so as you read down it says and he exercises all the power of the first beast before him all right which is the ancient roman empire all of the laws and everything that this society is founded on goes back to the ancient Roman Empire, right? But this is now a technological Rome, and now they have the fatness of the earth. The ancient Roman Empire did not have the fatness of the earth and all of this technology, okay? The fatness of the earth would be given through Babylon the Great, 
all right, the NATO and the EU, man, and who birthed Babylon the Great? The British, who rent a, who went around the world, you know, you know, spreading drugs, pollution, colonizing and destroying, man. Okay, so they were blessed with the sword. Okay, so they exercised all the power of the first beast before them and caused it the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. And you're doing it through technology. You're doing, you're worshiping this beast via its technology, via its miracles, via its artificial intelligence, via its witchcraft, via its idol worship and everything else. Because all of this is all uh, uh, fulfilled in idol worship. You see, uh, when you get the mark of the beast, actually, we'll get that. It tells you that the mark itself is an engraved idol, man. Okay, so who's the modern day artificer? It's Esau Edom, man. Okay, the, the, all heathen nations used to create idols that their, uh, uh, you know, the people under them would have to bow to, man. And now this beast system is presenting... All right, it's microchip and everything else. But what are they using? They're using their medical field as a means to bring healing via artificial intelligence. And it starts with this vax that they're bringing. It says, and he exercised that all the power of the first beast before him and calls it the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast. And that's what people are doing. All right whose deadly wound was healed, all right? The behavior of the people, what they celebrate, what they eat, okay? And people are pretty much, they don't fear the most high anymore. They look at the government and the ruler of this world as God. They fear not getting a $75 ticket via running a red light more than they fear Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. But that's all about to change, man. And that's why those chariots are popping up all throughout the four corners of the earth, man. <laughs> Okay. And the deadly wound was healed starting with the Renaissance period, man. In which you were able to be set loose. Satan was able to be set loose, okay, in the earth to spread his lies, man. And who would he do it through? The Edomites. And he do it great wonders so that he make it fire to come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. And NATO first struck Bosnia, I believe. All right, but later on it led to acts like what? Nagasaki, Hiroshima, and, and, and various other things, which when people saw that, because those the first inventor of those missiles and things were the Germans, okay, Timon, okay, the wise men of Timon, <laughs> showing you this is the seed of Cain, okay, people started to look at these people as God. Why? Because of the technology and things they've been blessed with, the wonders. Okay, that they've been uh, able to do. Let's look at this word wonders. And this uh, neural link is one of those wonders. Just one. All right. Uh, Sim Simeon. Let's see. Strong's G, 4592. Simeon. Simeon. A sign, a mark, a token, that which a person or a thing is distinguished from, from others and is known. A sign, a prodigy. A portent, an unusual occurrence transcending the common course of nature. And that's exactly with this technology that he's been blessed with is, this artificial intelligence. Now, they've put so much AI out there that they're saying AI is going to take over humanity. Okay? Um, remarkable events soon to happen and so forth, man. So what we're looking at, going back to this video... We'll look at a little bit more of it. I didn't want to play too much because you know how they get. I'm even taking a risk playing it, but. All of our senses, sight, hearing, touch, smell, taste, are electrical signals sent by neurons to our brain. But sometimes the signals are not wired correctly. You see that? They're telling you the most high didn't, didn't know what he was doing when he created this computer. Because our brains are nothing but computers all right we run off of electricity man and esau has pretty much been able to tap into that and put particular things in the earth to ruin that process now he's coming with salvation 
Now he's coming with a way to overcome all of the BS that he's caused. It's the perfect trap, man. He's puts all of this stuff in the water, all of this stuff in the food, all of these different neurological conditions people have, including children. Okay, you have children who suffer from uh, 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 diabetes, 10-year-old dying from diabetes and all of these different ailments. People can't walk. People bodies are given out. Why is that? Because of what he's done to the atmosphere, what he's done to the creation. Now he steps in as a savior from those very things that he's caused. This is the devil the Bible speaks of. Neuralink wants to rewire the circuit so that the paralyzed walk, the blind see, the deaf hear, as well as treat others. Now who does that sound like? Huh? Let's get let's get that in the book of uh <laughs> let's get that in uh real quick. Because the true miracles were done by Yahweh Shai when he walked the earth. And he's already overcome death. You see, they're setting up a pseudo messiah because Yahweh Shai did all of these things already and he didn't need no goddamn brain chip. He just had the spirit on him. And we're going to be doing these things. And it's already happening. Okay? We just got to believe and tap into that. That's why Esau and Satan wants to throw out all of these, uh, uh, all of this confusion to keep your mind separated from the power, man. The blind healed. Let me just type in blind healed. Now here it is. Esau's talking about doing this, but you got Israelites saying that Yahweh Shai couldn't do this. Matthew 15 and 30. And the great multitudes came unto him, having with them those that were lame, blind, dumb, maimed, and many others. And cast them down at Yahweh Shai's feet and he healed them. You see that? So he made blind people to see. He made people who couldn't hear to hear through what? Wisdom. Okay, and this is the spirit. This is the top spirit on the right hand side of the Heavenly Father. Now, people hearing that, they don't believe it. Even people who act like they believe it deep down, they don't believe that this happened, but they believe in this damn Neuralink. OK, <laughs> which all Esau's using is things that are created by the creator to do what? Wickedness, as the scriptures say, the, 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 the basic things of a man's life are, are water, all right, the, uh, the, the, you know, grape for the wine, you know, iron and various different things, salt. But they, they, they're taken by the wicked and used for evil, man. Just as the stones and the, you know, the different smells in the earth, Esau has taken those things because those things were created to forward man and he's used them to enslave man. All right. But Yahweh healed and did all of these various different things and he overcame death. If you notice, Esau is trying to duplicate or replicate Yahweh via his left hand blessing. Did not Yahweh Shai make the, the, the lame walk? You had one instance where a man leaped up and they were like, damn. And you got Israelites that don't believe that he did that. They believe that that's associated with witchcraft. You see, they said if, Yah if the Messiah did that, he wasn't no damn witch. You know, well, on, a, on, a right, on the right hand side, there's power just like there's power on the left hand side. But if you don't believe, you're not going to be able to move a mountain. And you're not going to be rooted when all of this stuff comes down, man. And this is, and a lot of people are going to fall for this shit, man. Neurological disorders such as depression, insomnia, Alzheimer's. The battery lasts a full day and can be charged inductively as you sleep, possibly by wearing a nightcap, according to Musk, although it may not look exactly like this one. The prototype is different than 2019's. That one required an external earpiece, whereas the latest version involves just the chip sitting in the skull. It's kind of like a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires. The wires, or threads, are 10 times thinner than human hair and represent electrodes. The electrodes figure out what's happening in the brain by reading the signals sent by the neurons and then stimulating as many neurons as possible. 
This technology is not new, but what makes Neuralink drastically different from other neural interfaces is that it will insert significantly more electrodes to stimulate neurons on a scale never seen before. All right, going back to uh, what we were reading before in the book of Revelation, all right, 13 and 14, and it deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles, which this is a miracle, using artificial intelligence to make someone who couldn't see, see, or someone who couldn't hear, hear, or make someone who couldn't walk, walk, that is a miracle. <laughs> that is a great wonder. Okay, and he deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by means of those miracles. And people start to people are have thrown away the Most High and His Son, and now they're looking to this artificial intelligence and bowing to it, to where they're going to put it inside of them as a form of salvation. This is going to be salvation on the left hand side. I keep saying that because look, listen to what these people are telling you. And he deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. The beast gives him his power, the beast system, America, the NATO, the EU, which there's various different countries join with them and align with them to put money into this stuff. To put money into their military. You see? But we're living at the time where the, 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 those nations are now breaking up. Because the Heavenly Father is getting ready to undo this power structure, okay? And it's happening right before our eyes, okay? This is why they're in a rush to get all of this done, because this will make them God. If your soul and your thoughts and everything that you do is on a database, <laughs> okay, then he's God. He, 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 he's, he's going to determine what spirit goes into what body. He'll be able to kill you off, but use, all right, what was downloaded onto this digital chip, whatever the hell it is, and put that inside of a new sleeve. Now, now, now look it up. They have uh, technology to create, all right, new sleeves, basically a body. And people think we're bugged out for saying this, but you forget who's, who this devil is, and he's doing this. Saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast, which had a wound by the sword and did live. So ultimately, this is that beast system ruling all over again. And how are people making all right, uh, 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 the image of the beast? They're basically living in lewdness, man. They're living... They're bowing to these idols. Okay, they're celebrating these holidays because what is the image of the beast? The image of the beast are the ways of the system. Okay? Including Christianity. People say Christianity is the mark of the beast. No, Christianity is just a part of the image of the beast along with everything else that he has going on to deceive. It's witchcraft. Okay? So basically, you're bound to the ancient Roman Empire via this empire, which is an extension of that fourth beast, America, man. And he had power to give life to the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak. Now, is the, the image of white Jesus speaking? No, this is speaking of those ways of the ancient Roman Empire living through this way. You're basically witnessing that deadly wound that was healed, live, and speak, just as the Israelites were dead, okay, and now we're, we've woken up, well, the, 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 the ways of the ancient Edomite <laughs> through the, the, the uh, yep, I saw that, it is, this truth is everywhere, um, basically, the image of the beast are the ways of the ancient Roman Empire, and, and they live through here, and you can look up the various different ways that Rome is embedded in America. This is nothing but Rome all over again, man. And if you if you if you seek to separate from those ways, you're gonna make yourself a prey. And eventually you can be put to death, man. Okay? Remember that the Jews got chased out of Rome. Okay? Their 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 preachings were 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 X'd out, you know, 
because there came a point where you know they were preaching and they were like ah whatever just the, those 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 followers of the messiah all right then they called them christians but after a while they started seeing the healings they started to hear about you know and that's what's happening all over again and then what did they do they said y'all asses gotta go and they put a lot of them to death so what do you think they're going to try to do in this new upgraded roman empire they're going to do the same thing they fed our forefathers and foremothers to hungry lions and all of that right put them in a coliseums and, and and you know it was basically legal to kill them. Well, the same thing is going to happen here, but this time the Lord got something coming for you devils, man. Okay? And he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark, which when you go into this mark, when you go into this mark, it's speaking of charagma, you know, and a stamp and print it, but a thing carved. So this is something somebody made, a graven work. Okay? Adulterous image. Just as Nebuchadnezzar made an image of gold and silver and all of this and said bow to it. Well, now they've created this mark of the beast, this, 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 this BS. And they're presenting it to you people as a means of everlasting life and happiness. They're trying to come up some other way. And, and, and you're going to have a lot of our people, and you already do, fighting for these people and saying they're right and we're the devil. We're wrong. They're trying to help people. You all are preaching conspiracy and hate. Okay? Well, this is really setting you up for the biggest enslavement that the world has ever seen. There's always been rulers and slaves and, and, and subjects, but... Never has their soul, okay, been in full control by their master. And this is what he wants. As a comparison, Utah Array is considered one of the best BMIs out there right now and has been used to study conditions like epilepsy. It has around 100 electro channels, whereas the current version of Neuralink. And, and, and all of these different conditions, all right, they created them. OK, they, they, anything all right, that goes wrong with your body, they'll give it a, 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 a you know, a name or, or sickness. All right. An ailment or they have a big book of different list of ailments. They'll just put that on you and then give you medications which further enslave you. OK, and further make you sick. Now. They have the big cure. OK, and they're going to use their pharmaceutical system as a means to bring forth this mark and we can clearly see what they're doing with this with this uh with this virus with this vax and why are, why do they want this vax inside of everybody why to get you prepared for this shit right here and there's more Neuralink is just one but ultimately the mark of the beast is on its way man and you can watch this full video Why Neuralink would change humanity forever. I didn't want to play it all. But um, the future is going to be weird. <laughs> Neuralink will be a support for our brain. Many of technological inventions and innovate, I'm a comment junkie, you know, were made to end human suffering, but there were always factors, human errors, money, corruption, that can change their purpose. Makes me more excited. I get it. Hopefully it will allow me to test my ideas in by acting as a supercomputer, checking the psych, the, the, Psychics of the idea. Physics of the idea. 666. Most YouTube videos don't cover the bad side of it. Illuminati. I used to tell my friends this in 2016. It is happening. 
a few years later as I will be like, damn, I forgot to charge my brain. Elon is a Musk. Elon Musk is a legend doing what he can to make life easier and safer and better for people who need it the most and changing all for mankind. What an amazing, brilliant man he is. See that? So him, Bill Gates, and the likes, they're look they're they're looked at as saviors when the true savior is Yahweh Shai and the elect, man. And through our words, we're gonna get everlasting life. Okay? We're gonna be healed, but it's gonna be the right way, man. Not through no goddamn chip. So don't take the chip. Stay rooted and always pray. Fast as much as possible when you can, according to your spirit. All right. And chat down Babylon, man. Speak the victory over this shit. Because according to the scriptures, we win. We get the victory, Lord willing, if we're of that number. So we have to speak it. Shalom.